there, I'm Mizzartastic, and today we're going to learn all about the element of art, color. Color, yes. So color is the reflected light off of an object that we see. So color is described with three different words, hue, value, and intensity. Hue, value, intensity. Color is used at, in creating art as one of the things that we might see the most, whether it is a mixed media art, whether it is a print, whether it is a ceramic sculpture or pottery, whether it is a painting or a drawing. We tend to use color. So color has a very important job and it can also be used as a tool to as a tool for artists right because an artist can use color as a way to make our viewers feel emotions make them feel a mood make them feel different sensations it can evoke those things within an artwork by using color if we use very bright colors, maybe it's very happy and exciting and vibrant. If we use very dark colors, it starts to feel sad, maybe scary, or maybe it's just a very somber mood in the artwork. So we can use color as artists to help our viewers feel a certain way. It's kind of powerful. And that's what makes art, the element of art color, so important for artists to use, but use wisely and really consider what they're doing and how they're using that element of art. So let's dive on in into this episode and let's make some art. If you're a teacher, make sure you head on over to the Miz Art Teachers Pay Teachers Store by searching Ms. Artastic on TPT to find hundreds and hundreds of art lesson plans and resources that you can use in your classroom. They're all easy to use, kid friendly, engaging, and fully prepped so you can say bye bye to the stress and hello to success. Now let's head on in to this episode. Before we begin on drawing and making an artwork, we're going to take a look at a color wheel. So a color wheel displays primary, secondary, and tertiary colors. It's the, a tool that we can use to uh, mix our colors. There are three colors that we cannot make, and those colors are, the, they're called the primary colors. We cannot make primary colors, so we cannot mix anything together to make primary colors. And our primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Red, blue, and yellow are our primary colors that we cannot create. However, we can mix our primary colors to make our secondary colors. So for instance, we could mix red and yellow to make orange. We can mix yellow and blue to make green. And we can mix our blue and red to make our purple. So purple, orange and green are secondary colors. Primary colors are red, blue, and yellow. Secondary colors are purple, green, and orange. Now, here's where it gets really exciting. We could actually mix our secondary colors and our primary colors together, and that's going to make tertiary colors. For instance, you might create Ooh, you might mix a uh, red and orange together to create red orange. Or you might mix yellow and green together to make yellow green, which would be like a brighter green than just green. You can mix blue and purple together to make a blue purple, but if you were to mix red and purple together, you would get a red purple. And they are very different, blue purple and red purple don't look the same. If you find purple paint and you mix blue into some of it and mix red into the other part of it, they will look like very different purples. One would be a little darker and one would be a little brighter. 
And that is what is called color theory and why it's very important to study color because you can mix any colors that you want with your primaries, your white, and black. If you just have your primary colors, if you just have red, blue, and yellow, you can do anything. And that's the power of color theory. Let's make some art. Let's make our rainbow llama. Grab something to draw with and something to draw on. Add a puffy fluff ball for the top of the head. With an ear. And another ear. We'll add a snap to curve it up for the jaw. Curving lines. Now we're gonna have a curvy line coming down, little bunny hop lines. For the neck. Puffy body. Puffy tail. Puffy legs. Down to the bottom. Bring our legs down. Oops, wrong way. I made a mistake. Whoa. And then a fluffy belly. We'll connect at the bottom here. We'll just add our little feet. Add our back legs. We're gonna add a circle on the head for the eye. We'll add a smaller circle and color it in, making just that small circle nice and white. We'll add our nostril and a little smiley. And then you're ready to color it in. Now it's a rainbow, rainbow unicorn, so we're gonna color the fur like a rainbow. We'll add our color our face in first. So I'm gonna have a face color. to orange. And we'll color in the feet. And once you're done, you're ready to shade in the back legs. Belly under the face around the high and 
just like that, your llama is done. All right, we're gonna make a color wheel. We're gonna do primary and secondary colors and we're gonna use our watercolor paints. So let's make our color wheel first. Let's begin with, well, let's do one, two, whoa, 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 losing my paper, three triangles, just to make a difference. So our triangles will be our primaries. These are gonna be primary colors. on my uh, variety of English spelling, depending on how you spell it. Now in between, we're gonna draw a square. That's gonna be for our secondary colors. Okay, and now let's add dashed lines across. Why did I put a triangle in the middle? Oh no, that was from the... <laughs> uh, that's from connecting the dots. Okay, and these ones are our secondary colors. All right, primary and secondary colors. Let's do our primaries, they're nice and easy. We don't have to mix. We're gonna get our red. Paint the top one with our red. Okay, and then the next one will be my next triangle, not my squares, we're doing our triangles. Oops, sorry, I have yellow on my, right on my brush still. Try that again, yellow. We'll do blue on the third triangle. Now we gotta mix it. Now it's really easy. I wanna mix two triangles to make into a square, two triangles into a square, two triangles into a square. So I'm gonna take red and yellow, very first one, red, and I'm gonna get my yellow. I'm gonna mix it right on the paper, and guess what? My first Secondary color is orange. Now this is a bit of a red orange. That means there's more red than yellow. So I'm gonna get a little bit more yellow and that will make it more of a yellow orange. That's how we can change our colors. Okay. Blue and yellow. So here we go, we got our blue. And I'm gonna grab my yellow. I'm gonna mix right on top. And guess what? We have green. Cool, right? I know it's like magic. Okay, last one. Now, this one's not gonna be as, it's gonna be different. So it depends on the blues you and reds you have. And it's gonna be more of a true purple versus being like your kid's purple. So I'm gonna grab my blue. Oops, there, blue. And now it's going to turn. I'm gonna mix, mix, mix. Now it changes into purple. And there we go. Now we have our color wheel of red, yellow, blue for their primaries and orange, yellow, green, purple. Or this is even the rainbow in a circle, right? It goes red. If I turn this into a rainbow, I'll show you. If I made a rainbow, these would be the colors of a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, Right? Green. 
blue, and purple. Those are the colors of a rainbow in a circle. It's a color wheel and the rainbow. It's all connected. And there you go. Well, my friend, that's it for this episode. If you have completed these artworks and you had tons of fun, please give this video a big thumbs up to show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and take me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.